Hi, everybody. Earlier this year, we marked a very special milestone. In just two years, the American English Facebook page has grown from 300,000 to more than 3 million followers. This is part of our English for All effort, and it reflects the fact that we live in a world that's growing more and more interconnected with each passing year. That's why when traveling around the States, I encourage every American to learn other languages. And it's why when I'm traveling overseas, I advise people everywhere to learn English. It, you know, in fact, I think it's really only common sense. Individually, knowing English can make an enormous difference in any person's ability to find a good job and to participate in the global economy. And collectively, the better able we are to communicate, the easier it will be to share our ideas, our concerns, and our stories. And the more likely it is that we will cooperate in solving problems that threaten each of us, from climate change to organized crime to conflict and to disease. I have to tell you, just recently, I was in Southeast Asia at the ASEAN conference. And there we were with each of these countries, you know, Myanmar and Vietnam and Malaysia, Indonesia, and run the list of all the Southeast Asian countries, sitting around a table and in Laos with all of these countries, the entire meeting was conducted in English. It's an extraordinary transformation taking place. Last year, I visited the American University of Central Asia in Bishkek, in Kyrgyzstan, and about, you know, that's, that's as far away from the States as you can get. But I didn't feel very far from home because of the efforts that the diverse student body was making to break through the language barrier and communicate directly with one another and with me. All of us, the students, the teachers, myself, we felt a sense of kinship and camaraderie that would not have been possible had they not taken the opportunity to learn English. So everyone, please keep up the great work, and I look forward to hearing your stories in the future. Thanks.